In your business news this evening, our focus remains on companies' interim results. Woolworths reported a 7.5% fall in half-year earnings today as consumers pulled back on discretionary spending and the country's energy and logistic crisis persisted. According to the food, fashion and beauty products retailer, which targets mid- to upper-income consumers, its headline earnings per share from continuing operations fell to 203.3 cents in the 26 um, weeks ended December 24 from 219.9 cents a year earlier. Seeing total operations headline earnings per share declined by 31%. FNB Wealth and investment analyst Jalpa Bulliam shares her sentiment. Today, Woolworths released its interim results for the period ended 24th December 2023. Now, markets did not like these results and the share price was over 5% lower earlier this afternoon. Digging a little bit deeper into this earnings print, Woolies was another retailer that had quite a difficult year. The company cited load shedding, avian flu and poor challenges in South Africa as some of the main culprits. All in all, the trading environment remains quite challenging and consumer disposable income is under immense pressure. Revenue showed decent growth, up 5.4%, which was in line with management's recent guidance, and the bottom line decreased by 5.6%, which was also in line with management's recent guidance. Nevertheless, sales have improved over the last six weeks in the period across its food, fashion, beauty and home, as well as its country road division. The outlook had a cautious tone with management flagging geopolitics and South African elections as detractors. On the flip side, however, the group remains quite confident and committed to deliver on its strategic initiatives, that being a stringent focus on managing its inventory levels as well as cost containment. That being said, I mean, we could see some operational relief over the medium to longer term.